Hey Flosstube, Ashley here, Buggy Stitcher on YouTube, Shlizm underscore Buggy Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with another unboxing. This one is from VIP Crestage. I'll put all of the product information in the description box down below, along with the coupon code in case you need it for any reason. And let's go ahead and get started. We have one cross stitch pattern and one cross stitch accessory. I'll go ahead and start with the accessory and let's dive right in. Um, as soon as I find, oh, there it is. <laughs> it's hiding underneath the pattern. All right, uh, I've been seeing these around lately and I figured I would um, get one and give it a shot. Sorry, crinkling. This is a thread and needle organizer. Um, it's a 30 spacer. Um, so you have these foam things um, and then you have some felt in here and you have tickets basically and you fill out the ticket with either numbers or symbols and supposedly you slide them in like this. Yeah, that worked pretty good. So I slid it in like that and then what you can do is you can just put your needle with your thread right here and basically park it. So um, let's, let's grab something here. I'm gonna grab one of the threads off of my kit that's like right here. So we're gonna grab some thread and try this out. All right, so I have some thread right here. And supposedly you attach it on the side like that, I think. And then you just pull it through like that, maybe. And now we need a needle. And let's see if I can pull a thread off of this without it all coming undone. Like I said, I've never used one of these before, so. So I'm grabbing a needle or a piece of thread with my needle and I'm just gonna pull. Hey, that's pretty cool. <gasps> It didn't tangle or anything. Ah, that was awesome. And then as soon as you're done with this, let's just pretend I'm threading it. Well, thread it, but I mean, pretend like I'm done stitching with this needle. You would just stick it in the, in there. There. Yes. Stick the needle in there, like that. Pretty cool. Um, I'm not, I think you're technically supposed to stick it in this felt, but it's not sticking very well. So I might be doing something wrong. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, you have to put it in the felt at like an angle, um, but then you could just kind of leave this right here. And then you have like a needle already threaded and ready to go. So in case you only had like one or two stitches of that and you don't park, you can just tie it off and leave it threaded on the needle, put it in that one spot like so, and then move on. Ah, that's pretty cool. And I like how you can pull the thread and it didn't get tangled. It just like popped up under here. Ah, pretty fancy. So there's that accessory and it comes with several several of these but honestly if you're doing stamped kits you you would only need one and just do one through 30 um but i don't know maybe if they start to like run out or something i don't know all right let me move that out of the way so i don't get it confused all right next up we have a cross stitch pattern this is a 50 by 65, and I'm calling her the, I don't know, dragon fairy, dragon goddess, dragon elf, something like that. There she be. Very pretty. And let's go ahead and open up. It's on the big, it's on the poster paper, which is really nice. So it's shiny. It's a big one, so you can read it. Can easily read that. Um, looks like it comes with 50 colors, which is a lot. 
comes with your accessory kit, the gold tip needles, uh, a thimble, and a needle threader. And let's look at the canvas. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so here is the canvas. And of course I have the window behind me, so I'll fold it in half for you. So here's her and the drag, and you can easily see that on the stamping of the kit. Looks like it's completely surged. It does have a fairly small margin, uh, maybe an inch and a half, um, but because it's surged, it's okay. Um, here's the whole thing. Ooh. Uh, let's look at the stamping really fast. Looks like the stamping is pretty good. I don't see any symbols off of the top of my head. That would be hard to stitch. Um, let me look at the symbol key really fast. There's an orange circle and a pink circle, which might give you a little bit of trouble if you don't have good enough light. Um, so there's an orange and there's a pink. You can see it if you pay close attention, but if you're not paying too close attention or it's dark, you might have a little hard time, but they're stamped really well, so that's okay. Um, yeah, so we got, here's the bottom of the canvas and the top of the canvas. This one's gonna be really pretty. Okay, crinkling, let me come in a plastic bag. Because we have some extra hanks. So we got extra hanks of these pretty grays and blues. And again, we have 50 colors, so there's gonna be this is gonna be kind of full. Shake it out. Ooh, some of the colors in here are really pretty. So, here's our extra card purples and yellows and salmons, browns. Floss is really soft. And then we got some, some neon looking colors here. There we go. We got some greens and purples and yellows. Very pretty. And again, when I have two, I put the two together and then I grab the floss and I just gently wrap it around both of them to keep them together. And this is how I store my floss and stop it from like tangling. And that is all that we have for the unboxing. We got a really big pattern and we got a thread organizer. So again, I'll put all the description box, um, all of the information of these products in the description box down below. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. Um, along with a coupon code and any information from VIP Cross Stitch that you may need, like their website link and anything like that. If you have any questions, let me know. I really appreciate every single one of you. And um, if you're headed out, then thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay warm, and take care. And I will be following up in just a couple seconds for you, possibly longer for me, on a stitch with me on this dragon lady. So let's go ahead and dive right in all right we are back with our stitch with me i'm gonna try and talk a little bit quieter since i have the mic right next to my mouth and i am a loud talker um in this video i also wanted to show how i normally get a brand new cross stitch um, pattern in a hoop it's normally pretty hard to do when you get a brand new pattern because it's very starchy um so i'm just going to show you how i normally do it and oops sorry bumped you um and i normally do this in hand on my lap as well. So this is exactly how I do it. Um, how I'm showing you is how I do it as well. So let me open up the canvas a little bit. It is pretty starchy. Normally I kind of work the, the canvas a little bit in my hands, um, roll it around everywhere, but I wanted to show you in case you didn't or it didn't soften up the fabric, I wanted to be able to show you how I do this. Now we're gonna be starting in the top right corner of this one today. Um, so I just put the hoop, or I got the little circle thing on my lap, um, and I'm holding it with my hand, and I'm gonna try and get as close to this corner as possible. Now that's gonna put 
um, part of the canvas out of the hoop and that's okay because uh, we're going to tighten it. So and then I just push down with my thumb and my, my right thumb and fingers and now I'm going to push down with these fingers on the left which is going to bow the fabric but that's okay and now I'm going to try and squeeze with my left hand and push around with my right hand and I'm just going to tighten it just a little bit so I don't want it to come undone and I see that this is starting to come, un come undone a little bit so I'm going to squeeze that back down so I'm going to tighten a little bit more and then I'm going to mess with my fabric. So it's all bowed right here, not very tight at all. So now I'm going to grab this back corner and I'm just going to pull it a little bit. And now I'm going to tighten a little bit more. And because I'm working on this side, I can't obviously pull over here because this is sticking out of the hoop because I'm at the corner. So I'm going to pull over here. So I'm going to rotate my fabric. Oops, sorry, bumped the mic. Gosh, I'm all over the place today. Um, and then I'm going to pull right here and I'm just gonna try and tighten it a little bit every time I tighten it I want to tighten the screw a little bit and I'm gonna rotate it and I'm going to scrunch this up and pull at the bottom right here there we go and I'm just pulling all the way around without trying to bump the camera here y'all can see my paint um, now I'm going to grab here and I'm going to pull a little bit and grab the corner a little bit. Um, if I don't get it tight enough, then what I'll do is I'll open up the hoop and I'll scoot the canvas over a tiny bit more. Unfortunately, I can't right now because I have to sit in this, in this far right corner. So I'm going to leave it as is until I can get a little bit of this corner done and then I will, I will move the hoop again. So I'm going to go ahead and just tighten this right now. Um, maybe pull down a little bit more on the bottom tighten and that's the way it's gonna just be. Okay, I'm gonna bump the camera just for a second while I rearrange this for stitching. So we are going to do a stitch with me. I am going to grab a needle minder and a needle. Stick that in the corner. I'm just gonna stitch this number four here, which looks like 160. So I'm going to go to number four, which is one of the extra colors it looks like. And I'm just going to grab one thread and pull it up. There we go. Shake that out. Then I'm going to do my three strand loop start. So I'm going to find the end right here pull then bring that back up and grab it with my finger holding the needle I am now going to just pull 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 until I find the end which is right here I'm now going to grab that end hold it and pull the rest of the threads oops I accidentally dropped the other one I was holding on to um, and I'm just going to pull, 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 pull until they're about the same length. And then I'm going to thread my needle and we're going to get started. So we're trying out a little bit newer. I don't know. I'm just going to keep playing around with my stitch with me's until I can get a good system here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There you go. So you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. And like I said, I stitched two-handed, so right now I'm sitting in my chair. I have this on my lap. I'm going to hold this with my hand, with my left hand, so it holds off my lap a little bit. And then I'm going to grab with my right hand, so that way I can stitch two-handed. Otherwise, it's so painstakingly slow for me to stitch for you guys. <laughs> it's just, it's gnarly. I just, but I got a couple cords in my way too and i gotta try not to bump you guys the cord the camera what it was the sweepy uh, stay over there please i, I am recording yes but why that's how you were done nope i was done with my unboxing video now i'm gonna record what do you think is that okay okay 
So I hope you all are well and getting some good stitching in. I have many videos coming. <laughs> I have lots of unboxing videos. I have my traveling pattern video that I'm about to release. Um, gosh, by the time I get done doing all these other videos, I'm gonna have a cross stitch update video to do. I have all kinds of stuff. I've been a little slow on recording things. I've been kind of, I don't know, down for the count last week or so. So I've been busy with the kids or just not feeling well, but I'm good. Just been trying to plug away. I dyed fabric for my new dyety uh, from Bella Filipina that I got from 123 Stitch and I dyed the fabric and then I decided it wasn't dark enough so then I over dyed it and it turned out beautifully so I'm super excited I'm supposed to get that Saturday and of course I'm going to start her Saturday um, but last time I got an order from 123 Stitch it said it was going to be delivered Saturday and then it ended up being delivered Sunday instead which was kind of a bummer but I'm hoping that doesn't happen again but we will see go what has everyone else been stitching on lately i love to see update pictures either on instagram or email hmm? sure honey thanks for asking um yeah i love to see everyone's updates so keep sending them Floss is super smooth. It's working out good. No tangles. It's cold here today. It's about 37 degrees Fahrenheit today. And I am freezing. I feel like I need to get some slippers on because my feet are cold. This is how I normally stitch, except I normally like kick back with my legs tucked up on the couch, but can't record doing that way. <laughs> so I'm sitting in my rocking chair, stitching two-handed. It's funny, when I first started stitching two-handed, I was like, this is garbage. <laughs> I was like, this is so painstakingly slow. I cannot stitch two-handed. I don't know how people do it. But as I kept practicing and practicing, now I cannot stitch one-handed because that is too slow for me. I just can't. It's like both hands have to be moving and working. Oh, come on. There we go. It's like, don't knot up on me now. Yeah, so now I have to stitch two-handed. If I'm not stitching two-handed, I'm not really having fun for some reason. That's just how I roll. Now, I would normally go all the way across, but my thread is starting to get, like, to the end. And so I'm going to do, like, two more stitches, and then I'm going to go back because I don't like to leave. Um, I don't like to end a thread only doing half of a stitch. Because I get interrupted so much that I would never, once I came back to it, it might be like several days from now. And so I'd be like, what color is that? I, mean, I can easily look at the pattern, but for stamp kits, I prefer them to just look at the, the canvas. I hate looking at patterns for stamped kits. That defeats the purpose. If I wanted to look at a pattern, I would buy Counted. All right, and I still have some thread left over, so I am going to do one stitch at a time now until my thread runs out. And we're just gonna do this. Again, this is a fairly uh, starchy one, but it will soften with time, and the more you work with it, uh, the better it gets. So, um, you know, roll up your fabric in all different directions, crinkle it, do whatever you need to do. Because the more 
basically oils that leave your hand onto the canvas, the softer it becomes. It just needs worked basically. Kind of like a baseball glove or softball glove. You know, you first get that leather and it's so tight, but rub some oil into it, punch it and beat it up a little bit, run it over with your car. You know, it softens up. But please don't do that with your canvas. Don't, don't run it over with your car. <laughs> but definitely be a little bit rough with it as far as like moving it around in your hands and everything. All right, and then I can normally weave my ends in the back uh, without looking, but I'll show you guys just because I'm recording. So I normally then weave it in, and I normally leave my thread hanging until I get tired of them sucking up to the top, and then I turn it around and clip all my ends. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me as I do my stitching review. Thank you VIP Cross Stitch for sending these um, items over to me. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Until next time, I hope you stay safe, stay warm, and take care. Bye.